when the good old democracy of the 20th century came of age, it sent messengers into all four corners of the earth to find out the reason for the misery of the world. But as the messengers returned, they had learned from east and west, from north and south, from all computers, the incorruptible ones, as they say that it itself, the good old democracy, has been the source of all the misery in the 20th century. It was in the good old days of the democratic 20th century when all children were encouraged already at school to achieve something so that they learned about progress, how to grow up and to become successful, how to make money to become rich and famous, rich and famous as in all our fairy tales. And they learned it is sweet and honorable to die for the fatherland or I am not worthy to shelter you under my roof, or the party is always right, or one for all and all for one. And for that progress, they were taught to bring every sacrifice. And the politicians did not see how unhappy people became through it. Without the happiness they were promised long ago in the big, expensive revolutions. And then came one who knew that the greater the sacrifice, the greater the God. And who knew that blood sacrifices would be demanded for the sacred treasures of art and morals on the altar of their belief. And they knew from their old feelings, as he told them, that he who sacrifices is chosen. A chosen people. And then came the one, out of the mythical nothingness of the void, out of the landscape and the forest of that people with an unheard of energy, carried by all of them, that majority, the quality of that century, loved like no other man before him and mystically redeemed. A redeemed redeemer, a true miracle, ready for that total risk of eternal damnation or the supreme light in his eye walking over the mountains and through oceans of blood, the agonized curses of his victims in his ear and the great mass enthusiasm in every place, in the center of the world which was at the time the center of our earth or should become it for everybody who was of good will or of the right kind and race. And that awakener of all the majorities of the middle classes, secretly beloved by all the humiliated and the people of the third world. Today's great taboo in East and West, outcast and lonely now, abandoned as he prophesied himself, a cast off black messiah, black plague and cancerous growth of the mass movements and all its somnambulistic rites, Satan and the eternal tempter of democracy, or hypnotized world medium of the masses, or tool of capitalistic exploitation and social explosions. Where is his beginning, and how can we grasp and portray it in the old images of our time? Once again, the old Dionysus rites of self-sacrifice. Occidental ceremonies, feasts of destructions, a last memory for distant myths of God nearness through blood sacrifice and destruction of one's own son. And they don't know what they are doing, awakening at the end as from a faraway dream of their own guilt. A last attempt of Europe to assert itself according to old tradition in the new order of the masses. Desperate in his weakness, a riddle forever to all spectators before it became ground down between the merchants and functionary states in East and West. At last, freed of itself in a nostalgic death delirium. <laughs> 